Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm proudly presenting you my new studio as you can see behind me and also I will show you today how to play in the third position and give you some tips and tricks on this topic in general. I will explain you at first what is the third position. This position down here at the nut is called the first position and when we play now one two three in the first position we can exchange the third finger this one the ring finger with the first finger and we are in the third position this is basically what it means to be in the third position in the beginning it will be hard to hit the spot of the third finger with the first finger to find this position you have to practice the following play open string one two three in the first position with the notes D, E, F sharp and G and then you take the G, play it sometimes, remember in your ear and replace it with the first finger and then you are in the third position. From there on you can place your other fingers as well. When you go into a third position please keep in mind your wrist should not be touching the rip of the instrument. In the perfect world we want to shift into the third position with a straight wrist which would look like this. If you have problems finding the third position it is no crime to slightly bend your wrist and use a slight contact with the rip to navigate on the fingerboard. But in the end you want to reach the third position without touching the rip. Touching the rib is kind of cheating and will hurt you when you want to play in the higher positions such as the fourth position. The fourth position is more like touching the rib and fifth position and so on. Having a wrist which is curved like this is not a good habit at all. Also technically what you want to look out for is your thumb position. You have to be aware that your thumb is on the side of your violin and not looking over the fingerboard because you want to slide in this direction and possibly later you want to go into higher positions and you want your thumb to prepare that motion. Also if you want to play vibrato in the third position you need a good thumb position for that. So keep in mind your thumb position doesn't change but your thumb follows your whole hand. You want always to move your thumb with your other fingers so don't do the position change like this and just move your fingers but always take your thumb with you because in the new position your thumb will be a navigation point from where you place your other fingers. If we reach the third position with the first finger we have the luxury that we can compare the G the first finger in the third position with the open G string. So if your instrument is in tune and your first finger in the third position on the G is also in tune, you want to have a pure octave ringing when you play both strings after each other or at the same time. And you don't want it to sound like this or like this. This was either too low or too high. Compare your first finger with the open string below. This is a quite easy way to check if you have found the third position correctly. This of course doesn't apply if you have a G sharp or something. In the beginning I would advise you to practice two things. First of all you have to know where you go. You want to go to a third position and then practice playing in the third position. Don't practice in the beginning too much the shifting between first and third position. Just play some pieces in the third position even if they are much under your level from other difficulties like tempo or bowings or something. Play some simple pieces in the third position. If you don't have a piece, just play a scale. We now find the G on the D string. We compare it with the lower string, with the G string. find a pure octave. And then the notes in G major. It's the fingering like this. One full step between those fingers, one full step between those fingers and one half step between the third and the fourth finger. And you play this on the D string and on the A string. And 
voila, you have a major scale. And always compare your first fingers with the open strings. If you are some kind of familiar with the instrument, you will have noticed that we can compare another note with the open string. This is the second finger. We have the first finger G, the second finger is the A. And as we all know, we have an A string. And since we play now the second finger on the D string with the note A, we can compare it with the open A string as well. We have to make sure that we are not in contact with the A string right there. So we can play them after each other or at the same time. So this way we make sure our first finger is in position when we compare it with the low string and the second finger is in position when we compare it with the upper string. And the same goes for all strings except for the E string because we don't have a higher string than the E string. Also on the G string we cannot compare the first finger with the lower string because we don't have a C string. So I would advise you to begin the third position exercises with the middle two strings because you have the most notes to compare with open strings. And play in the key of G major on the D and the A string to have a good octave in your hand. In the beginning it may be helpful to repeat the notes sometimes, maybe four times. To really make sure you can adjust a little bit your fingers and not rush yourself into playing wrong notes. So repeat those scales back and forth. You can also experiment, improvise some songs with it and just enjoy the feeling in the third position. After that, when you want to go into the third position, you need to practice the shifting. And I think when you are now new to the third position, that you are also new to shifting. So what tips I can give you on shifting is quite simple. The first thing is don't press too much. If you press too much with your thumb or with your finger, the shifting motion will be very hard. The second tip I give you is that you don't want to jump with your finger like this, because this way it's quite easy to not hit the target. Practice always slowly. This especially applies to shiftings. I now shift it with my first finger from the first to the third position and back again just to practice this motion. And I do this slowly that I can listen to the slide and hit the note when I reach the note and don't overshoot it. So practice it slowly is one of the best advices I can give you and also listen to the slide. Don't press with your left hand, listen to the slide you want to do and also know your target. So know where your finger has to go. For that, it may be helpful to do this exercise. Play four times the E, four times the G on the D string, and then do this with a shifting motion. First time we play it in first position. So one, 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 three, 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 three. And then we do it with a shifting motion. So we play four notes on the D string within the first position with the first finger and then make the shifting into the third position with a slide and hit the first finger in the third position on the D string. So I hope you understand the principle of playing in the third position. It is quite useful to learn this as quickly as it is possible because then you will first encounter the measuring of the fingerboard with one finger, which is a thing you have to do quite much on the violin. Measuring the distances of the different positions and between the different notes is actually which makes the violin such an awesome instrument because you can now play with slides and different positions, you can play things on one string and you can also play much better legato if you are accustomed to some position playing. After you are done with all these exercises you should be able to play in the first position and go into the third position without any problems. What you will do next is to apply different keys in the third position. So 
different finger positions, not just the G major scale we play today. Let me know if this video was helpful for you or if you like uh, fall asleep, like Write a comment, give the video a like if it helped you and have fun practicing the violin.